Hi guys, today I'm reviewing Bubble Cloud for Android Wear. This is an app launcher that you can put on your Android Wear smartwatch and essentially it turns your Android watch into a Apple-esque kind of Apple watch. Um, I've tried this out for a couple days now. There are some things I'm impressed with and there are other things that I am not enthused with. Um, but overall, I think it's a good first uh, attempt at building a app launcher like this. So let's take a look. So initially you see that we have our different applications and we can go ahead and click on an application to launch it. And then you can swipe over and bring back up your bubble cloud. And do note that this is not dynamic. You cannot pinch or zoom like you can on the actual Apple Watch. Um, the more you use an app, the larger its bubble gets, uh, which I think is a cool feature. I do like that. I have found that's a little difficult to actually, on the smaller ones, pick out which one I want, especially when I'm using my thumb. So let's try to go ahead and launch the uh, Wear Messenger. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this or not. Let's see. See, so it can be a bit difficult. But it worked. I was able to launch Wear Messenger. Um, it just takes... Uh, a couple times. Having some pinch to zoom functionality would be really nice if the developer could add that in, but honestly I don't know if the Google API allows for that or not, so I can't judge too harshly. Uh, I also really like the initial setup of this um, of this uh, launcher. Um, I'm gonna go back. This is a different launcher than I'm using right now. This is my day-to-day -day driver, uh, but let's go ahead and launch the bubble cloud. I like that you can change which edge it comes off of. You can do left or right, or you can turn it off. And also, what's really nice is you can change how large of an edge it is. You can see that in real time. That is my favorite feature of this. Um, you can also have contacts be set up on this as well. So let's go ahead and launch this. And you can specify contacts, and you can save favorite applications to swipe over. I think that's another really nice feature. Uh, you can also uh, hide applications on your cloud that you don't want showing up. Um, so overall, I have to say that this is a great first start. Um, I do not use this as my day I will not use this as my day-to-day -day driver, um, just because I don't think it's quite ready for prime time. Um, but I do think as a beta or as an alpha, this is definitely very well done. I think uh, the developer did a great job, and uh, he says on on his download page that it is a first gen um, sort of app, and so to, you know take it easy on him. And so I really appreciate that. So I'm treating this as a beta, but as a beta, it is absolutely fantastic. The developer's done a great job, um, and just to be able to show off to your friends and show them that oh hey yeah I you know I can make my watch look like an Apple Watch if I wanted to. I think that's very cool. Um, but like I said, personally, I would not use this as your default app launcher for day-to-day -day use. You could, but uh, I just don't think it's quite ready. If you just want to get the look of the Apple Watch, there's other ways to go about it. Uh, you can go ahead and use something like Facer to make your watch just look like a Apple Watch. Uh, so let's see, where is Facer on here? I can show you one that an Apple iWatch skin that I downloaded. There we go, there's Facer. Let's go ahead and launch Facer. <clears throat> So here's an Apple skin for your watch that you can load. So if you just want your watch to look like an Apple watch, um, you can go ahead and use something like Facer to give your watch that look, but still maintain the actual <clears throat> functionality of Google and without having to change your app launcher. So I think that's another alternative. But overall, I have to say this is a great little app, or at least a first beta of it. I would not have download this for your day-to-day -day use, but if you just want to check it out, it's definitely worth downloading and taking a look at. If you guys have any questions or comments or you'd like me to do any other reviews, uh, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section down below. I always love hearing your feedback. Until next time.